interesting one. Dollar cost crypto fundamental trading versus discretionary trading. Yep. Right. So with fundamental trading, it's usually more of a longer term bet where like you're you're kind of like you're you're getting this acorn, you're planning and you're trying to see if that tree actually grows to something. So it's more of a long term thing. Um, sometimes, especially if you're if you're if, if you've checked with the fundamentals and you know some events going to happen in the next, it's, it's really not like you. So typically, what happens when people think they're fundamentally trading, they're kind of getting into an event kind of last minute versus like this is happening in the next four or five months from now. Then you have time to plan, get a good price, get multiples on it, take off your principal from that bet and then de-risking the position and then seeing where it can grow from there versus like discretionary trading. It really means what, the, what it really, well, it depends what you mean by discretionary trading, whether you mean like you short-term trading in terms of like you you just have a certain position size where you're like 20% of your portfolio and you're trading, which I think is fine if someone wants to do that versus like all you do is just trade the entire portfolio, which is kind of like, you can get in some big trouble with that, right? So uh, me and Charlie have always said, like, obviously I'm a bit of a gambler and stuff like that, but the way I gamble is like, I like to take 20% of my portfolio and invest into kind of like shit coins as well as like long shots that I think could actually make big returns. So it's me, I'm more of my, I have a 20% of my portfolio that's super speculative, super, super speculative, but I do the research on it. I do the best I can, but a lot of these projects are so new that you can research it all you want, but it still is like, it's still a chance, right? And we're, oh, we're yeah. like, you're, oh, yeah. you're instead of investing into a more of a sure thing versus some guys which I, I, I always shoot these guys towards Charlie because Char Charlie's more of the trader and stuff like that in terms of that. We're like, some guys, we, we tell people if they want to be more of an active trader that only do 20% because if they get burned out there, they solve the rest of the portfolio that the 80% of the portfolio that's still there in the solid stuff can through a bull market, bring them back and then get them back in the game. Or at the very least, like you stop trading basically. Yeah. Yeah, well, and um, yeah, exactly. You have a, a number of bullets in your chamber, and if they go to zero and none of the shots work out, you stop, <laughs> right? Like, you don't go to the ATM, you don't take out more cash, you do not pass go, you do not collect $200. Um, but if you do have success, right, then um, you bank your original profit so that you're working with pure profits eventually, and then, you know, you take as much risk with that uh, opportunity bag as you want. So, um yeah, you got it. It's it's the same way as approaching the poker table, right? It's like you come with a certain stack of money. Like if I come to the casino with five hundred bucks, if I lose that five hundred dollars in five minutes, I stop. I'm not going to the ATM. Like I'm done, yeah. right? But if I, you know, start losing that stack, and about halfway through, you're like, maybe I should take some risk management, right? Uh, here, right. and then you just kind of tread water a little bit in the poker table. Then you, you know, read the people a little bit. Then you know how to play the game. All right. Then you start betting big again, you start getting a few hands, right? Then your portfolio goes up and then, okay, now, now you're riding a good wave, right? So um, it's the same way when you're working with your portfolio. And it's not that the way that you're doing it with your portfolio is gambling. It's simply just a, a type of risk mitigation tool so that you do not end up at zero. As long as you have chips on the table, you can play. And as long as you can play, um, you can win. And in this space, we have a lot more honest... Um, ways to make money in crypto and to earn that uh you know upside but you know you, there's so many mines so many landmines in the space you just got to be very careful you got to be knowledgeable so i was getting shit on for my close one but he's like beats my dingy five star